or uh, hallucinogenic drugs, all of those things would help emotionally and mentally prepare you for the fucking of your life that you're about to have. He's awesome. Trent and Willie. Woo! Yikes! 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 All right, here I go. Did you all hear about Jesus Christ on the last day of his life? He got into a new sense of fashion? Cross-dressing. <laughs> Yikes! Now let's go with this set right here, motherfucker. I don't give a shit about these sandals right here. Check it out, this is pigeon toes up in this crib. Alright, what I'm gonna say right now is I went to a nihilist camp. Only nihilists were there. In the middle of a field of nihilists, there was a mattress that says, Nothing really mattressed. Stupid pun. You think you study punologist in Pandora's box? Fuck y'all. Because this mattress blew up and it made all these exoskeletons of pillows. What was inside of that? A clock. Yeah, clocks hibernate in the middle of your mattresses. Watch out when you sleep. TikTok. TikTok. Watch out. Program your brains. TikTok clock style. Your brains are clocks. Listen to this, Mother Nature shit. <laughs> All I'm telling you right now is... Then Grandfather asleep put a clock in a freezer to freeze time. And he found... Okay, there was this baby on the ground in the middle of a basketball court. He read the braille of a basketball. And he, he saw that, like, this baby had been eaten away by crows and lions and black people, and it was just a skeleton. <laughs> And he put a skeleton key inside of the skeleton. What popped out? Boom! Mother Nature. And this is the grandfather of sleep, motherfucker. So he he went up to Mother Nature and he gave her a drink and he put a lot of sleep in it. It's the ultimate groupie. Pure, uncut sleep. And she's all like, I'm gonna make a coffee tree grow and eat coffee beans so I can defeat the grandfather of sleep. And she did. And that's that's why I have to tell you that somebody started a class about time. His name was Tim. He was a time teacher. Oh, how can we tell time by the sun or the moss? Come to my time class. I'll teach you how to make a wristwatch out of spaghetti. And he's teaching a time class, and this kid named Zach goes always late. He rides a hover beard to class. It's, you know, like a hoverboard, but made out of a beard. And, you know, he shows up late. He can morph into a dog, Zach who can. And Zach goes all like, fuck you, teach. Every day is going to be Saturday. And he's so cool, every kid follows him. Every day is Saturday. People forget how to make buildings because they don't work or get education because every day is Saturday. You know? So all buildings are made out of Jenga pieces and 9-11 parts and Legos. <laughs> it's the whiny tears of 9-11 victims. Good wine. Um, <laughs> He can make buildings! And then all these aunts from Aunt Hills and Aunt Farms come taking over the cities! Taking Lego pieces and, and jack the parts, making them into quilts, because aunts make everything into a quilt. I've seen it, you've seen it, your aunt's nose has seen it, everybody's seen it. I once lived in an igloo. Igloo. It's an igloo made out of glue, an igloo igloo. And you're like, where's that wordplay coming from? I don't know, Yacht's nose? And then you know, we all see these cloud poachers bringing down, you know, they're, they're turning clouds into, you know, belts that are really cool and turning clouds into belts. And parts of heaven are falling down and, ain't, you know, freegans are grilling up angel meat and, uh, you know, gods are falling down and you see Muhammad fucking Jesus' wrist cunts and you're all like, whoa. You're all like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You know, you're like, whoa. But then, Amongst all this, you're like, all oh, the smog clouds, I can see they're becoming hockey clouds because that's why witches have brooms. Because women's innately clean. Women's innately clean. So that's why women have brooms, uh, witches have brooms, because witches are women and they, they clean the smog clouds. And you're like, why can't I get a woman like that? Why can't I get a woman witch? You know why? Because you're too stuck with your head out of the ground because you've been fucking an ostrich. You know? And what is a racial slur for birds in the Middle East? Owlhead. Um, <laughs> you know what though? Abortion is a choice. Right? Abortion is a choice! 
You know, because when your boyfriend tells you to have an abortion, you have to get an abortion. That's his choice. <laughs> <laughs> no one can tell you ain't no thing different. Do you ever think that a mouth is just like a teeth sandwich? Rip it out. <laughs> Cannibal sometimes. It's like when I sweat a lot, I think that it feels like my body is crying, you know? If you, if you go, if you go, if you go to a pet store and they don't have any snakes left, just buy a carrot and cut its legs off. You got a furry snake. <laughs> yeah, it's no, 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 no callbacks, why no callbacks? Just because there's no callbacks. All right, give me a wedgie board because my batteries just died. I want to raise my batteries. Whoa, I've never seen a battery ghost. Have you ever seen a battery ghost? Whoa, don't, don't do that because Zeus is pretty technical. He, he has a cage full of all these lightning bolts. He's like, is it gonna be a lightning bolt or is it gonna be a battery or an electrical eel? And yeah, the electrical eels. Don't have a matoise no wah. How do you pronounce French shit? With two electrical e eels in your, your, your ears. And yeah, I'm gonna have these electrical eels fuck my eardrums. Yeah, because there's a bunch of Freemasons in your head praising this giant egg. You know, because there's a Freemason golden skull that everyone's been praising that lives in all of our heads. And in that golden skull is a note written by God that says, I was on a lot of heroin when I made snakes. I forgot their arms and legs. And once you put these electrical eels in the middle of your ears to, to zap these uh, eggs in there, serpents, snakes with arms and legs are gonna be jumping out left and right. And they taught a bunch of retarded potato farmers from Maine how to play Scrabble. And if you think you're a Scrabble champion, forget it. These retarded potato farmers from Maine, <laughs> great at Scrabble. You don't even know. You don't even know. It's like, if you watch Alfalfa on Power Rangers, forget it. You know. Look at this shit! If this right here, you think, you think this is a regular carpet? What if they bought this? They think it's a regular carpet. What if you bought this? And it turns out to be a magic carpet. And this is probably probable in the next five minutes. It swooshes at me because it's a magic carpet. It can move. And it's going to hit all these chairs and hit you in the face. The chairs are going to decapitate you. And soccer players from, I don't know, beneath the earth are going to come up and start kicking the heads around. The guy playing music, everything in here is going to swoosh up. And we're gonna be body parts everywhere on this thing, going up in the sky. And we're gonna see some birds. And birds are okay, right? Knock, knock. Who's there? Cheryl. Cheryl Crow? Knock, knock. Who's there? I know a bird. I know a bird. I know a bird that can fix VCRs. <laughs> um, now, what do you think the worst thing was about 9-11 for birds? What? Two less buildings to sit on and shit on. Uh, <laughs> who is a North American Red Tail Talk favorite actress? Meryl Streep? <laughs> you know, then you gotta ask yourself. Like, the more you know is the more you know. Once I had a staring eye contest with a hot air balloon, and I won just because I'm so fucking cool. That thing doesn't even have eyes. I don't care. I'll rip out someone's eyes, put their eyes on the staring to the staring eye contest hot air balloon, and I will make, you know, I'll make eye blinkers from a deaf girl. And then she can never see. And she's gonna become one of those Helen Keller bitches. And you cut off her hands and she can't say no to nothing. That's like, okay, or whatever. But I'm gonna leave you on this shit. <laughs> When the world has cancer and the world's going to gray, turn your glasses into monocles and ride that camel. Oh, and the one more thing. Can we give a round of applause? There's a lot of racial tension between these two groups of people for a gook talking about fucking a nigger. Come on, give a round of applause. <laughs> that fucking happened. <laughs> Uh, and then it happens so quick, I'm like, you guys, this is gonna be weird. And everyone's like, what? And then that fucking came up and did that. And that happens every time he comes up. <laughs> How much fun has this been tonight, guys? Thank you so, so much for coming out. This has been awesome. Let's hear for Joseph Larson for putting this shit together. Let's hear for all the comedians on the show tonight.
Let's thank the Improv Lab for letting us hang out. So we don't have to take over any other local businesses.